Roughly a dozen or more local restaurant owners, along with their servers and bartenders, rallied today in Binghamton to save New York's tip credit wage. The tip credit wage allows hospitality employers to pay their tipped workers less than the minimum wage, with their tips making up the difference. If the tips fail to, the owners must then make up the difference between the tipped minimum, which currently stands at $7.50 an hour, and the regular minimum wage, which is now $10.40. Governor Cuomo has convened a panel in an effort to eliminate the lower minimum for tipped workers. Restaurant owners contend that they will not be able to absorb the increase even after raising their prices. Many say they've already cut staff and reduced hours since the tipped minimum was recently increased from $5 to $7.50. They're taking, they're taking everybody out at the knees, all the servers. There's, there's, no, there's no reason to go above and beyond with service anymore because you're all going to make the same money. And the sad part is that money that's going to come in be that high will be devastating to most restaurants. They won't be able to recover from that. Ward says local independent restaurants will be hurt worse than the chains who can more easily implement touch screen ordering tablets and kiosks to reduce their labor costs. And the servers expect customers to stop tipping, which will end up reducing their take-home pay, even with the higher minimum. State Senator Fred Akshar, who organized the rally, says it's another example of the state's unfriendly business climate. Akshar says the state of Maine did away with its tipped credit and then reinstated it one year later because the policy change was a failure.